Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic audio and video related products, camera gear, microphones, audio gear, lighting gear, podcasting gear, and that kind of malarkey. And if you're new here, well, that's exactly what I do do. Um, so what we're looking at today is an item, it's an accessory I purchased for my Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III. Uh, do you want me to say that again? Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III. Makes me giggle every time I come out with it because it's such a long-winded, convoluted name. And you try typing that into a search engine as well. Um, particularly in Wex Photographic, if you don't get the OM and the D and the EM5 in the right place, it doesn't come up with any answers, which is bizarre. Um, but there we go, this is the OMD EM5 Mark III. And what I purchased for it was this excellent grip. And I say excellent, but I would say that with some caveats. The actual grip itself is great. It gives you that really extra stability and that extra support and that really, really nice grip. So when you're walking around with it, it just feels right. It feels really, really good. Um, it's superbly made. It's a nicely made. I think it's, I don't know if it's plastic or what it is, but it is well made. It's a nice piece of kit. Um, I think it supplements the EM5 Mark III brilliantly. I'll just take it off. It, it's, it screws on just with one screw with a bottom here. So I'll just take that off. And um, what we have is this very, very nice little compact uh, grip. No batteries in it, so it's not a battery grip. It is purely an additional support grip. Um, but what it does have is your shutter release on the top and uh, your ap aperture shutter control dial, basically a control dial around the shutter release on the top here. Um, and that works by these contacts just at the bottom here. So that's all fine and dandy, really, really good. But um, and I, I'm enjoying the grip. I'm really pleased that I have purchased it. Um, and I am enjoying the grip. Uh, it, it slots on quite e easily straight into the tripod mount. And then you just literally just screw it on like so. So that's now screwed in. And that gives a nice strong support. That's a really firm support. It's a good quality grip. Um, it's not going to come away. It's really good. And the extra shutter control is really handy because obviously this is further forward now. It's further forward from the camera. So it'd be a bit awkward getting your finger backwards to you know, use the back control. Although it does still work, but you would, you would really use the front dial with the um, exposure control, aperture control, whatever on the front here. And that works you know, great. Um, but there is downsides to this grip and I can't actually highly recommend it. I normally say whether I highly recommend it or don't recommend it. I'm on the fence with this, to be honest. Um, it is great, but it's got two, two flaws. One is its price. It's a hundred, well here in the UK, in the region of 170 quid. I can't recommend it if you're gonna pay 170 quid for it. And the main reason why I can't recommend it at 170 quid, because you have to take the flipping thing off to change the battery. And the batteries in the EM5 Mark III are not, you know, not great. They'll, you know, you get about 260 to 300 shots from it, um, maybe about an hour's worth of video, and then you have to change the battery. So it's back to that palaver. You have to unscrew the flipping thing. So you have to take this off um, and then, you know, change the battery and then put the grip back on. I just find that bizarre how Olympus have designed that. So you have to take it apart. I guess they didn't want to put a hole in the base here in case it, you know, uh, it sacrificed the structure of it. Maybe they didn't feel it would be strong enough if they did do that. So um, I can kind of understand that. Um, so that's one reason why I can't recommend it. And the other reason, as I say, is basically the price. It's 170 quid. But if you can get it like I did, I got this from Wex Photographic. They had a used one. It was really, pretty much brand new. Um, and they had, it at, I think it was 70 quid or 75 quid. Well, that was fine. I didn't mind paying that. Um, and I'm glad I did because it is really good. But I wouldn't have paid 170 quid for it. Um, you can pick up, I don't know where I've put it. Oh, here we go. So you can pick up third party grips. Um, I'll put a, a link in the description below to my Amazon affiliate page where you can actually, you know, look at various accessories and this will be in that, on that page. This is about 55, 60 quid uh, here in the UK. It's a really simple Chinese grip. Um, and I actually quite enjoyed it, but it, it isn't anywhere near as good as the Olympus one. 
but at least it has got a hole in the bottom for putting, you know, replacing the battery. You haven't got to take the grip off to replace the battery. And uh, secondly, it's got an Arca Swiss um, sort of connection, so you can put it straight onto a tripod. Um, a Olympus one, you can't put it straight onto the tripod. It hasn't got an Arca Swiss uh, base plate, um, but it, at least they have put a tripod thread on the base of the unit. So at least you can, you know, mount a tripod plate on it and then put it onto a tripod. Um, so, you know, it might be worth looking at a third party accessory. These are about 60 quid. Um, and you, as I say, you can replace the batteries with that, but, um, the nice thing with the Olympus, it is nicely made. It is really, really nicely made. It curves nicely uh, with your fingers and it has got the shutter release. Um, so yeah, that is the Olympus ECG5 grip for the EM5 Mark III. And um, as I say, I can recommend it at a lower price, but I can't recommend it at its higher price. I, I, I just don't know how annoyed I'm gonna get when I'm out taking photographs or even taking video and I have to take this off, um, you know, in the middle of taking photographs just to change the battery. You can, although you can charge a battery up via USB. So you could effectively put a USB block, a small one in your camera bag or your jacket pocket or whatever, um, and use that to put some power back in the battery, maybe if you're having lunch or something, so you don't have to take the grip off. So there, there is an option for that, and I have tested it, and it does charge a battery up via USB, so um, you know that may well be an option. So there we go, that's the Olympus ECG5 battery grip. Um, while we're on the subject of photographs and photography, you might notice in the background here, I've got a program running uh, Luminar AI. Um, I've got two programs um, I got from them, Luminar 4 and Luminar AI. Um, the only reason I mention this is because I have got an offer. Again, I'll put a, a link in the description below to where you can download a trial version of Luminar 4 and Luminar AI. Um, and if you really like it and you do want to buy it, use the coupon code AVP when you check out and you get $10 off. So um, it's great, isn't it? It's a great little program. It's, well, I say little program, it's a brilliant program. You can create catalogs. So very much like uh, Lightroom, nowhere near as flexible as Lightroom from that point of view. It's not really designed to be um, a Lightroom replacement, but on the other hand, uh, do you really need Lightroom? Because with this, you can still create all your catalogs, you can create your albums, um, you can mark your favorite images. Again, not quite as flexible as Lightroom because you can only like mark a favorite. You haven't got a range like uh, you have with Lightroom. Um, and you've got a whole range of editing. I, I just absolutely am not gonna go through all this because I'm not really, uh, in this video, talking about uh, um, Luminar or Luminar AI, um, but it's, it's got all your editing features you would find in Lightroom and a great deal more. Uh, for example, sky replacement, and it is really good. You look at this image here, uh, when it came out of camera, uh, so that's what it was like out of camera, really bland sky, really naff sky. And you can put a new sky in. You can even add items to the sky, you know, balloons, planes, birds, or whatever. You see that one there, I've just added some birds, you know, so um, you can put your, put your birds and the replacement sky. So that's what came out of camera. That's what I've replaced it with. So, you know, it has a lot going for it. This bit of software has a lot going for it. I really like it. Um, I would only recommend products that I've actually purchased. And I have actually purchased this. I didn't get, get it for nothing. Um, so I only recommend products that I've purchased. Uh, and that I use, and I use this uh, all the time. Um, and if you can get $10 off, and, and it might save you having to pay the subscription fee to Lightroom. So, you know, there you go. So I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video. Uh, I really appreciate the comments I'm getting as well. And I really appreciate, you know, uh, the, the quality feedback that I'm getting. It means a lot to me. Um, and hit the like button if you found this video useful. I'm sure you probably haven't found it useful if you don't own an EM5 Mark III um, or you're not thinking of getting an EM5 Mark III. Um, there will be a link up here somewhere to my review of the EM5 Mark III. Um, so, you know, take a look at that. It's a great camera. I really enjoy the camera, I really do. Um, 
regardless of what some people might say about Michael Four Thirds, I think Michael Four Thirds has got a you know a really strong future if Panasonic and Olympus, well the new Olympus, do anything with it. You know, um, it'd be interesting to see what the new Olympus was. It OMD Vision or something it's owned by a company called JIP. Japanese industrial partners, something like that. It'd be very interesting to see over the next few years what we do do with the Olympus or the OMD brand. So um, we'll wait to see on that one. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. Hope you enjoy the channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks very much. Bye for now. Cheers.